We've got a great trailer. It's a bloomer trailer, and it's a great trailer. Been a great trailer, but we've put 30,000 miles a year, and you figure that up on 12 years. Uh, that's a lot of miles, and uh, things wear out. At one of our events, our ovens completely burned up, and after 12 years on the road, in a flash of a second, they were gone. It's very hard at this stage to pull into an event knowing we're going to have to make about 2,000 meals in the course of a week and wonder where is the nearest repair shop or repairman that can come to us if we have a breakdown. This trailer is seeing its end, end of the road. If we don't see a breakthrough uh, with a new trailer, it's probably going to be uh, about three years, maybe four at the very most, that we can stay out here with this trailer. Success for us is to see a life change. Uh, to see a cowboy come to Jesus is the most rewarding thing that you could ever do. Our promise is to be there for them, do whatever it takes to serve them. They are the most genuine people I have probably ever met. Um, there's not a day that I've seen them where they, they just don't have a big smile on their face and they're just wanting to help people and serve serve people and serve the Lord. And Chef Lynn and Preacher Ted are the first two that I hug when I get here. I don't know of any other ministry in the Western lifestyle that has a greater impact on the Cowboy Nation than this ministry. Ted and Linda is my favorite people to come see at the rodeos that make you feel right at home. It's just like, like seeing my parents out here on the road. Um, we've grown to become like family and it's, it's awesome to be able to see mom and dad out here on the road. We've been believing for a new kitchen for three years now, and God speaks to me, and he said, Ted, he says, you think this new kitchen that you're believing for and been believing for is for you and your cowboys? And he said, it is. It's to continue what you're doing, but it's also to go to disaster areas and to help those people that have literally been blown out of their homes or burned out of their homes and they need you to be there, not only for feeding, but to love on them and be there for spiritual guidance and help. We know that we could be of use and comfort and feed them a meal, but yet love on them and give them encouragement. I've known them for 20 years and I know their heart and I know their ministry and I know the impact that they have and it's huge. And I just encourage anybody that's watching this to, to jump on board and be a part of something that will not only bless them, the people they reach, but it'll bless you for being a part of it.